Okay, it is mid-October and we just got our first frost. Not a hard one, just a little one, but lawns are still getting decimated with grubs. Let's talk about what you need to do for the next couple weeks to make sure you're in best shape for next year because I think the problem is only gonna get worse. Let's talk about it. Okay, this is actually by, uh, by all means probably one of the worst grub years I've seen, uh, if not ever, in a lo definitely a long time. We're getting a touch of frost in the back. Grass is clearly slowing down on its growth, but those grubs are still doing damage. We're getting reports of uh, yards getting dug up all over the place. And when I go out and look, there are small, medium, and large grubs. That means the problem, in my opinion, unless we get a hard freeze and we start getting cold, cold, and some cold gets into the ground, the damage is only gonna get worse because those baby grubs that are still hatching in there are, uh, have to go from a baby grub to a big meaty grub before winter sets in. So if we have a mild fall and we stay mild well into November, I feel that problem is only gonna continue to get worse. So what do we do about it? To, to me, what we're doing is uh, kind of just sticking with the plan. And that means I'm not worried about weeds in the lawn. We're, we kind of just start off by attacking those grubs. You're gonna go through those dead areas where you see them getting dug up and rake up all the dead grass. You have to get all that dead sod out of the way so you can expose it. And we're seeding, seed the lawn. Yes, I know it's getting late and it's mid-October and depending on where you are in uh, Southern New England, uh, here, uh, uh, I'm really out near Newport and uh, uh, Quinnick Island and anywhere close to the water, I've seeded all the way into November and still gotten it to sprout. My intention at this time of year is to just get the grass to try to sprout because we do not seed in the spring unless you have irrigation. Because even though in the retail, we sell three quarters of our grass seed in the spring, uh, I spend the entire spring trying to talk people out of it and waiting for the fall. Reason for that is the grass is going to have, right now we have warm ground, cold air or cool air. That is the perfect time for development of roots. So at this time of year, all I care is that I get a little green fuzz on that grass. And even if it doesn't go any more than that, it'll be up and running in the spring. But what's happening is the roots are getting established. And that's all I care about right now. Because in the spring, weeds are gonna be the bigger issue. In the spring, we have cold ground, warm air. And what that means is that their grubs are going to have a problem, um, the grubs, the grass, struggles to really get a solid root system and that means it only has also one growing season of the spring before it's going to go through the drought of summertime so that is an uphill battle and routinely i tell people in the spring renovate it but be prepared you're going to do it again in the fall so that's why um, we're kind of sticking to the plan if you don't treat the grubs they're going to decimate your lawn and for those who want to stay with organic, you can use nematodes as long as the ground is warm. And, and I'm sure those nematodes shut off at some point, uh, but it is a predatory uh, insect that you can, it's a nematode, uh, but it will control grubs. Uh, but for the most part, chemical controls are the fastest and most reliable because lawns can be decimated. So if you're trying to be environmentally friendly, it is definitely one of those areas that again, I'd rather use a small amount of chemical in the area, kill the grubs fast and get that grass rebounding. If you see a few little pockets in your lawn and you treat those areas, the grass will probably recover and grow, uh, grow in thick. Outside of that, for those of you who are going through, dethatch your lawn, aerate your lawn, fertilize your lawn. We're getting into the best time of year, uh, a winterizer application. What that means is a lot of people kind of just start checking off on the lawns right now. But whether you're having grub problems or not, helping that grass harden off and get ready for the spring and get ready for the long winter, now is actually one of the most beneficial times to fertilize your lawn, but most of us don't even think about it because the lawn's slowing down. Now, my grass is still growing. And once you feel you have cut your grass though, for the last time of the year, that is the time to go out and apply a winterizer. If you have a package of fertilizer that says winterizer, but you've already put it down, or it's uh, many of them tell you on the dates on it, September, October, it's wrong, in my opinion. It's just my two cents. <laughs> and so wait till the grass is done growing on the surface. Those roots are still developing. Those roots are still active. Hit it with a high nitrogen fertilizer at that point, and then it'll be up and running faster in the spring where it's gonna help outcompete the weeds. So 
that's what we're doing. Uh, we're staying the course, thatch, aerate, overseed. Just make sure if you're putting down seed at this time of year, we're recommending putting a slice seeder so it slices that seed down into the soil. So if we do freeze up and we do shut things down before that grass starts to grow, it will be there in the spring. Especially if you put a little, if you've got big bare patches of dirt, put a little mulching straw over the top to kind of help it hold its place. And the last and most important thing is water, water, water. When it comes to watering at this time of year, uh, we've been pretty dry in between these storms. So water two or three times a day, whatever you have to do to keep that soil constantly moist because every day is going to count. Every day in the 70s right now are gonna count at helping that grass seed germinate. So um, focus on, uh, again, just because we got rain maybe yesterday or you really watered well yesterday, that doesn't matter. Because if we've got a sunny day with a stiff breeze and the top quarter inch or so of grass uh, dries out, that grass seed doesn't care what moisture is below it. It only cares what's in the top quarter inch. That's why we say 10, 15 minutes per spot, very light watering, just enough to dampen the soil, and then move on to your next spot. And do that two, three times a day to get that grass seed germinating as quick as possible. I hope that helps. I know we've been beating up on lawns this year, but it is by far the biggest question we're getting. It's by far the biggest challenge we're seeing in the lawns, in the yards right now. And um, it's still the best time. I would rather put seed down well into November uh, than have to contend with this in the spring. I hope that helps. Take care.